Okay, hey there guys and what's up and this is King of China always trying to I just want to let you know that this cyber food video on the top right is just letting you know that you know if you want to watch it get information from there it's good but this update has been information because now you can see there's new food now and that is crazy so there's some food that covers defense HP all of that stuff and to be honest like you can just go there yourself and check it out just hold it down and you'll see the stats but the new bars or complete new food is food for your new special bar this special bar is going to allow you to do your special move with your melee weapons more often now i've been playing around with it and i don't know if i've just been getting really lucky most of the time i've been doing things but there's another thing as well like there's a thing for the car now you can now steal credits it seems to be only 10 credits <laughs> so i don't know if it's actually worth it however if you're a new player and you're just starting out this is going to be good now to improve on this i would suggest you know the faster you go the more credits you get so you get 150 miles an hour you're getting down so you've got the melee weapon now that does area hits as you can see on the screen now that is good that's awesome because the melee weapons were very lackluster they were very just like they were good but i'd rather use a pistol and a shotgun all right so that's what's amazing that is that they now have special moves each individual melee weapon and the baseball bat weapons tend to have an area effect but all the other weapons except for the baton all have physical focus there's only one weapon that has a stun but sadly the stun is a bit underwhelming but we'll go into the stun weapon in a second as you can see here the target system is still a bit wonky so i can do a special and it will still turn around and hit the dog so that's a bit like uh, a bit rubbish a bit annoyed about that if it, it might just be me if there's a target system where you have to click on the opponent first and then attack fair enough i need to get used to it but to be honest i feel like they can do better on that particular thing but as an update that's not too bad but as you can see i'm getting some really good damage um it kind of makes the passive melee bonus damage where you randomly get double damage a bit pointless if you can just do a special at any time as a focus hit what well, what's the point so uh that's a bit weird to me personally but you know what are you gonna do now the knife is quite devastating now because of the special it should be really if you're stabbing someone in real life that's gonna mess you up but my point is is that it's a great weapon but you know it is what it is but if you guys want to see a melee version by the way just real quickly then obviously let me know in the comments below and i'll do a melee version of the deep in down of every melee weapon in the game how effective they are and all that stuff all right if you haven't seen the pistol one go check it out so i'm going to be running with the stun weapon now to show it off like the stun isn't long enough like it's all right it seems to take off more shields but that's just like a first look to be honest i couldn't really guarantee that being you know absolutely amazing so it is it's tough to talk about the, the, that weapon because it's a third generation you can't really repair it yes you can but it's awkward so i don't know i expected a way better stun from a, a third generation weapon personally so that as a melee weapon is okay but meh. so now we've got like groups of enemies now the shotgun was the answer for all of this and normally you use a shotgun you take a lot of hits it seems to be the same thing with the baton with the baton being op taking 116 that's nuts but guys if you still have to take loads of hits then it kind of becomes not anti-productive do you know what i mean like in some zones in high level zones that's too risky that will get you killed only two kind of shock troopers or i forget what they're called but the people that throw ballista blades have to throw those twice at you a few melee hits and you're dead it's not necessarily fair it's just not so i don't really truly get agree with it then we've got our cooldowns which is like you know it's 10 seconds on base but then it turns into nine seconds when you put on the lowest uh, food reset skill, okay? So that's not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and make an assumption if you make the other food, then it's gonna take off another second and it's just eight seconds. It's all right. 
I feel like each individual melee weapon should have a different cooldown. So yeah. So now we're gonna talk about the, the cooldowns. I mean, the cooldowns on the weapons. If you haven't seen Know Your Shotgun, obviously go check it out. But this is the before and after effects on the reload. Obviously pause the video if you need to to have a look at yourself. But as you can see, the pistol reload hasn't changed. It's just the animation of the pistol reload, to be honest. It now says zero point something something seconds now, basically. So in terms of the speed and all that stuff, the pistol seems relatively the same. The shotgun has lost two seconds though. So that's amazing. All right, so you'd think that the energy baton is gonna be crazy OP with the shotgun. Now, to be honest, out of my own hindsight, I probably should have thought of bringing a better shotgun, to be honest. But you see, the energy baton, highest generation weapon, physical weapon in the game, doesn't one hit all of them. Now, I am in the hardest event zone in the game, which is I'm in the hole, but it's, in the, it's the, the van event. So they are stronger. But it's still, I, I was expecting way better. I was expecting to nearly one hit all of them on low HP a lot of them were still very fresh because as you notice in the video one takes high damage and the others do not <laughs> do you know what I mean so you're like what it should be just the same all across so it seems like the shotgun where the shotgun will hit someone and then the rest of the damage just spreads and I still don't feel that's you know relatively good now we got a new quest as I mentioned at the beginning of the video which is amazing obviously go check that out obviously I will be doing a video on that if you want me to do a video and put it out sooner please comment below I'll get it out as soon as possible to show you what the new quest is like I already have the content on standby so if you guys want to see that just let me know man you don't always be trying it don't be trying it but seriously New quest is amazing and I'm not going to spoil you of what happens and what you get. You'll have to just bear in mind. Now, Cybica, devs, I'm going to be very honest now. We don't want this. We want this. All right. Look at the flow of combat, how it just hits one guy in the face and then slaps the other one fluently. That's a next generation game. Now, I don't know if you're thinking that's just trailer stuff, but now nah. we don't want this static last day on earth. You run behind a car, you know, this this isn't cover. That's not cover shooting. That's that's something else. This is cover. That is better. This guy is literally hiding behind cover and then gets shot. That's dope. <laughs> this is what we want. Walking and running and shooting. Bruh, not this again. Like a game two years ago has done this already long time ago so it's not like it's a hard method this gun where's this gun where's this beauty high speed high damage flipping groundbreaking looking game just look at everything about it this is what we want and i'm just being honest i'm sure anyone below would agree please share this out please go to the discord get this out tell them just to skip to the end of the video if you want to just tell them because devs do watch this and then obviously finally co-op guys seriously this is what we want like subscribe share i'll see you in the next one